and welcome to another Long Clippings video. Today I'm actually going to be trying something for the first time, so we're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm actually going to be using these molds um, that I've shown you guys before that I did with some clay. I had used um, some Sculpey clay. I wanted to try using resin, so I bought some of this ice resin and I'm going to mix it together and then I'm going to add in some alcohol ink. We'll see if it works to dye it. So, um, and then, you know, we're going to pour it in these molds and then uh, I'll come back tomorrow. It's going to harden overnight. So let's see how this goes. You have to mix these um, equal parts and they came, like I, my, the way I bought it was like in a kit. Oh, already getting stuff all over the place. Um, and so it came with these little lids, which I think will be helpful in trying to measure it out. So I'm putting the, these on right now. And um, they say to do the part A resin part, which is uh, not the, the part B is the hardener. So I'm going to take this little lid off. And um, right here I'm going to measure in the cup. Okay, so I've got um, about a, they say to do at least half an ounce, so I have a quarter of an ounce there. And then I'll take the top off and clip the top off this one since for some reason, and then we're going to add in the hardener, and we're going to get that equal part, so we're going to go up to the half mark, alright, that looks about right, and then um, you are supposed to stir it, it says for two minutes, so we may fast forward this part, okay, so I've stirred it now for two minutes, and I'm going to try adding in um, this stuff, I would, I would have suggested, I would suggest wearing gloves, it kind of burns, uh, <laughs> wear gloves. Okay, um, so I'm going to take uh, this, and I have no idea how much I'm, I need to do, so I'm going to do a very small amount and then mix it in and see. So I guess it all just depends on what kind of color you want. So I think I want deeper color than this. So I'm going to add a little bit more. But one drop goes a long way with this. Look at that. So this could be fun because you can mix like colors. You could use like your reinkers and mix different colors. I have like the antique linen reinker for the distress ink one. I think that one would look so cool. And I'm working on one of these Ranger Craft non-stick mats because I figure that'll be the easiest thing to clean up later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour it into this little mold here. So we'll see how this goes. I'm doing this very slowly. It has kind of the consistency of cough syrup. So it definitely has a little bit of play, but not a lot. Okay, so I was able to fill all of these molds with that half ounce. So that's really good to know is that you really don't need to make much and look how much extra I have. And I guess it's only good for about 45 minutes, so there's not much I can do. What I am going to do is I have some fun ideas. I'm wondering how it will work is if I were to create little dots on this mat tomorrow, if they harden, will I have like cool little droplets to play with? That's not a droplet. That's a blob. But... Ah. Okay, I've made a huge mess. This was probably a really bad idea. But we're going to come back tomorrow and see how this is. Now, for some reason, some of these are kind of bubbling up. So I'm just taking um, my paper piercer and just moving the resin around. And it's kind of breaking up the bubbles. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Um, but uh, it's only happening on some of them. So I'm just going to try to break it up and see how it goes. And we'll see tomorrow what happens. Okay, so it's morning and something very weird happened and that the color completely changed. Remember, we were using this color and overnight, I guess the alcohol ink, it just wasn't strong enough. So, um, but it actually provided a really kind of cool thing. So, a uh, cool color. So it's kind of a cool effect. So now what I'm going to be interested in trying is I have a pigment ink refiller, I have a dye ink refiller, and I have a distress ink one too. So I'm going to be really interested to see what happens with all of these different kinds. So um, right now I'm just going to pop these right out. Oh, they're doing construction in my neighborhood and Putter's freaking out. So all you have to do is, that it's that easy. You just pop it out and it looks like it got a little bit of extra resin on there. But see, just pop it out like that and um, you can see how cool these look. I'm going to bring them up to the screen. Hopefully they'll focus. 
um, they just have this really cool kind of glass look and they are definitely like a hard, if you can hear that. Um, and so here's another one that I pulled out. So this one you can kind of see the color a little bit more on it. So there's that one and you can hear that's, that's how solid they are and they're really smooth and pretty. So I'm just going to pop the rest of these out. So now you can see like how fun these are. I just, I love them and they look so custom and fun. And, um, and it's a good thing to know if you do use alcohol inks that the color's going to like way downgrade. So, um, but it's going to be a really cool effect. So that's really kind of a really fun way to try stuff. So I really love these. One thing I wanted to try to do is pick up my, my blobs here and see it actually did work. So I did create these like fun little droplet things. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but it's definitely cool. This might be cool on like if you use the partly cloudy set with the umbrella and this could be rain. Um, they turn out really neat. So um, yeah, these are super cool actually. So I'm back and I made some using the Sunflower uh, Colorbox Pigment Ink. Um, ink. And I'm going to say that I don't really know, these ended up a lot stickier, like the first batch I did actually did not work at all, um, like Goo Gone was required to take it off my hands, did not work. And these ones worked, but they're, they are very, very sticky still. And so I'm kind of putting them under a heat lamp and seeing if that kind of helps some just over time if it might help. Um, but I'm wondering if maybe this was just not the right kind of ink to mix in there. So I'm going to keep trying more and I'll keep updating you guys on how it works, um, but I did want to get this video out kind of showing how it makes. So the alcohol ink ones, like no problem at all, no stickiness, they work really well. Um, these one, there's just a little bit of stickiness, but they're still super pretty. I, I really love how these turned out. So the next thing to try will be a dye ink reinker and then a distress ink reinker. So um, I'm having kind of fun with my little science experiments here. Um, but anyways, um, I made a Mother's Day card another little Mother's Day card for my husband to send to his mom. And I just used um, some Primsicolor colored pencils and our set Judy's Blooms, which is this set right here, and Smitty's ABCs for the sentiment. And, uh, and just did a quick circle card, which I really love doing, and um, just some quick coloring. But I thought it would be fun to have one of these custom flowers just right here, just for something a little bit extra. Um, I thought that would be a cute look. I did try doing kind of in the center of this flower, and um, I'm not sure. I kind of like it without that. Um, so I think I'm just going to end up putting this one up here. So kind of fun ways to attach these. You could use glue dots, glossy accents. I'm going to use some Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Um, I just really like this stuff. It, it works really well as a glue, although I think its intention is obviously to create dimensional magic. But uh, it really does work well as a glue. So I'm just going to hold that there in place and let that dry. And I have a really cute Mother's Day card to send off um, for Mother's Day. So really, really like that. Um, one last thing I wanted to show you was um, just how to do these with the Sculpey clay. So that's this stuff. I actually, I got a bunch of these. They were on sale at, uh, you know, um, my local big box craft store for like 99 cents each. So I got a bunch of colors and I really like this kind of turquoise color. So what I do is I just take just a chunk of it and I kind of like to kind of massage it in my fingers like this just to kind of get it going. Sometimes these packs are a little bit dry, so it just kind of gets it kind of moving. And all you do is like just literally just shove it in this thing. <laughs> so you just kind of keep pushing it in and moving it around and making sure that you get the whole flower and nothing too much extra. So I just kind of pinch little bits off and go like that. I've still got a little too much extra here, so I'm just going to pinch off a little bit more. And then you can just add this, the ex excess you're pulling off, just smash it right back onto this block that you have and, um, and just kind of keep working it in. Now, the cool thing about this is you could fill these molds up and you can bake the molds. You just follow whatever the directions say on here. Um, 
wherever they are. Uh, and so, you know, you just follow the directions and just, uh, I hear it says do not microwave, you know, bake it in the oven and um, do this. Now, another thing you can do, and I saw um, Sweetie Pie Laurel, my friend Laurel do this in a video, and I was like, oh my goodness, duh, like why didn't I think of that? So you can pop them right out of the molds with the clay, um, you know, and, and go bake them like on a cookie sheet instead of baking it in the molds. And this way you could make like a ton of flowers at a time. So you can see how pretty that turns out there. And then you would just need to bake it based on the, the instructions of your clay. Um, these molds can go up to, these molds are from Mold Muse on Etsy, M-O-L-D-M-U-S-E. Um, they're really, really sweet. And so you can do it that way and just pop out the flowers and do it that way or bake them right in here. Sometimes I just like to bake them right in here. It just feels um, easier sometimes. So that's how to do it with the Sculpey clay. That's super easy. And then when you um, finish baking it, this is what they look like. So I actually really like the look of clay. And you can see the differences in all three of the kinds that we did. So here's a clay. This is kind of a clay with a pearl in it. Here's the ice resin, but with a pigment ink, and this is the ice resin here, but with the alcohol ink, which really has this cool clear look. This is a little more opaque, and then this is the clay, which is just a totally different look. So there's so many things you can do with these. Um, if you guys try it or anything, I'd love to see what you make. Um, it is just, I just have had a lot of fun with it, um, and uh, making these just fun projects. So. Um, these molds are from Mold Muse. I'm sure you could find them every, any, elsewhere, but I've had really great experience with them and like them, and they are not paying me to say anything or anything. I just like them. And um, and so, and then, you know, using ice resin and different kinds of inks, and I'll keep updating you as I use um, other inks. And then, of course, here's one on a card, just as a nice little accent just there for something extra. And that's something that I know that... Um, that uh, my mother-in-law will like. Um, and then of course you could always do, like these are really great for little flower centers like that, if you wanted to do that way. But I decided, I think because it took me so long to color, I decided not to put in there. And then you, yeah, so yeah, so this is it. So thank you so much for watching and putting up with me learning how to do these while um, while on the video. I think it's kind of fun that way though because I can make the mistakes. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here to, because I'm like the queen of just mistakes and crafty mishaps. So um, so hopefully um, you guys had fun and maybe you'll try making some of these uh, fun resin and clay flowers. Have a great day and happy Mother's Day. Bye. Oh, also, don't forget that Lomfon is donating from May 1st to May 7th to the Why Me National Breast Cancer Organization 20% of profits from Lomfon.com. So you have a couple more days left to help with this great cause. And thank you so much to everybody that has helped and told their friends about it and has, that has been able to buy from us. It really means so much to us, and we can't wait to be able to donate on Mother's Day to this wonderful cause. So thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye.